Okay, if you're going to install the FlowViz Retrofit, you want to inspect the equipment area to look for the Janly check valve. And it's important to put it on the right location, even if you have several check valves. So here we go, we have one check valve here, but this is a spa bypass here. It's not a good location for it. You're not going to get the actual flow through here. Here's another check valve right here. That's also a check valve for the spa. But okay, so there's no actual check valve in front of the pump here. But there's actually one right here for the salt system coming out of the heater. That would be a good location for this retrofit. So let's look at the valve and see if you can read the manufacturer. This one says Jandy. So the flow of this retrofit will fit here perfectly. Here's another set of equipment that's perfect for the FlowViz retrofit. Here's the Jandy valve right here. And here's another pool with a Jandy check valve right in front of the pump. And the FlowViz will actually fit perfectly right there. If there's no Jandy check valve present at your pool, you can go ahead and just plumb in the whole complete FlowViz flow meter into your pool. I hope that gives you some idea of the pools that you can install the retrofit FlowViz in and which pools you're going to need to plumb it directly into. So if you have one of these rainbow chlorinators with a flow vis hooked up, just use caution where you install it and also check it frequently to make sure the tablets are actually melting in there. So those check valve elbows wear out all the time. I carry a bunch of them in my truck because so I'm replacing them all the time. So I'll open it up and I'll show you that the tablets have not been dissolving in here. It's pretty toxic. So basically the paste from the chlorine tablets gets in there. There's a little ball bearing in there that's supposed to stop that flow um, when the pool turns off so the paste clogs it up. So if you're installing a flow vis and a Janney check valve near one of these chlorinators, make sure it's working efficiently. Otherwise the toxic level of acid and chlorine could go back into the pipes and damage the flow vis unit. Okay, installing the retrofit flow vis is really easy. You can use the magic loop for the o-ring and a screwdriver to get the old Jandy valve off and you put the flow vis in. Okay, this particular pool has a Jandy check valve there, has one on the spa, spa bypass, and nothing in front of the pump here. So I'm going to go ahead and install it over there by the heater. So you want to turn the system off. You want to put it in service mode here. You can also turn the breaker off at your house to make sure the power doesn't come back on. Okay, now I'm going to take the screws out of the Jandy valve. The valve itself may be a little sticky to get out, but it should pop out just by pulling on it. I'll show you that when I get to that point. Make... Okay, if the screws are out, you want to just grab the Jandy valve and pull up. It should pop right out. Now you want to make a note of where the flapper's at. The flapper is facing the back here. I'm going to install it the same direction. I'm going to get my magic loop. I'm going to put a little bit on here makes it seal a lot better. Stick the flow vis in here. Remember the flap was on the back. Screws in. Okay, when you go to tighten the screws, you want to do a star pattern, like you're changing your spare tire, flat tire with a spare. I put that one in front, and go to the one in back, cross over to this one, and just double check all the screws to make sure they're tight. And that's it, the installation process is finished, so pretty simple. Okay, now I'm going to test the flow vis here to see how the flow is. I'm going to start at the highest speed, which is 3100. So 3100 RPMs, the flow is almost 90 gallons per minute. So that's a look at installing the FlowViz flow meter retrofit in an existing Jandy valve.